Hi everyone, you're watching Gabriel Louise and for today's video, it is gonna be a how I edit my photos video because so many people have questioned me on how I edit my photos. Since you guys have asked for this, I'm just going to give it to you and for the past few years, I really do get critical on editing my photos because you know, gotta do it for the gram. Without further ado, if you're interested in this video, please keep on watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do for more fashion styles, lifestyle videos, Videos. If you're interested in that, if you're interested in me, why not subscribe and you know follow me in my social media accounts, which will be linked down below. So let's just start. Okay, so for the first part, I just wanted to let it out there that the apps that I will be using will be available, especially in the App Store because I use an iPhone and I'm not really quite sure if the other apps will be available for the Android phones. I'm just going to divide this video so we're very cohesive and coherent throughout the video. I'm just going to divide it per app. Basically, I use like not really much apps. Kapag inedit ko na siya dun sa isang app, I don't re-edit it because I don't really want to put so much filter on one photo and I do put effort on it but not really too much effort. Basta may filter na okay na ako dun. And I'm just going to start with the prime time of this video. This really revolves on this app which is called VSEO or Visco. I don't know how to really pronounce it. My gallery na siya dito. I have uploaded the photos. So you're just going to click that plus button and it will direct you to your camera roll and whatnot. And you can choose. And from there, I just wanted to show you guys my feed. It has been, you know, all over Instagram. Please follow me. Let's just start with this photo. It is taken from Pangasinan, basta matagal na yan. And I realized marami sa inyo na parang more on nature yung photos. This photo, by the way, is already edited. Pero, dagdagan na lang natin ng filter since I can't find the original photo. In this photo, I use the C. Basta yung C kasi yung filters dito by letters and the numbers that follows it. So, nandito siya sa C na series. I know this ko is, you know, kailangan mo siya bayaran and I am subscribed to it. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I, I, I really just can't help it. So if you want something like major nature vibe, like sunlight, sun glow, golden hour vibe na photo, the C series na filter ang ganda talaga ng ano niya. Like I if I could remember clearly, I use this filter, which is actually called C6. Tapos ayan, parang inadjust ko lang siya. Hindi ko siya mina maximum because I don't want it to really look like super duper filtered. I still want it to be half natural and half filtered because you gotta lose the actual character of the photo. Basta ganun lang yung feel ko. Okay, you guys get me. Basta ayan, C6 chromatic. And I go directly to the adjustment and kapag gantong kind of photo like naka gusto mo parang naka focus lang sa yon not really the, the background and what I do is just I lower the exposure or the brightness and then medyo binababaan ko yung contrast since the background really does give like a black kind of contrast so you got to lower it down and also I got to sharpen some details so, kapag pag zoom in mo siyang ganyan, like super duper sharp ng details talaga niya, yun mo kita na yung mga, ano ko dyan, really defines the dimension on the photos. And kapag clarity naman, mas ano lang siya, like ganyan. And we don't want that. So, let's just go to saturation. No, no, no. If you want to tone it down, yung super duper color ng photo, you can really adjust it way up high. But I don't really think it's a good idea for this photo. For this photo lang naman. Because it, there's so many colors. Pero kung like, medyo neutral yung photo, you could really, you know, heighten the amount of saturation. It really de depends on you. So, let's move on to the highlights. This one, I don't really think this helps. Pero sa shadows, ayan, makikita mo talaga yung parang nagkakaroon ng white cast. But we don't want that, so I'm just going to put the highlights on 2.3. So skin tone, ito yung parang may pinkish or cool tones. And dito naman sa kabila, which is the plus plus, dito yung negative. Sa plus plus, nandito na yung parang temperature. And I always want my skin tone to be more on the warmer side than the cool side. So, so sa Vigne, I don't really use it that much. Pero maganda siya if the photos are black and white, so you gotta take note of that. 
And for the grain, wala. Ayoko din naman yan because I don't want my pag-zinoom in. Ayoko na medyo grainy. But for some photos, like the Polaroids, mas maganda na grainy siya. So, yeah. Sa fade, ito yung parang nagpapamukhang medyo parang smoothened effect. So, let's put some. And the split tone, I don't really use that. Ito yung HSL. Ito yung pinaka-favorite ko because parang sa Lightroom, you get to saturate yung specific color like this, the red. Lalo gusto ko kapag naka-lipstick kasi mas maganda siya tignan. And the lightness, you just gotta, ano, yan. Since red and uh, green lang naman yung pinaka- dominant color dito. Yun lang i-adjust natin. Pero hindi ko masyadong ginagalaw yung yellow and orange because that's the color of your skin. And if you will adjust that, syempre ma-adjust yung color ng skin mo. And this is the final. So, let's just save that. And that's just it. Save to camera roll. Finished. Okay, so another thing. Uh, let's just move on to another photo. I wanted to edit this one kasi marami ding photos na parang more on the bluish side, like lalo sa ocean or basta parang blue, basta maraming ganon. Okay, I realize na marami sa inyo parang like this guy is the background and met more on the cool tones, like cool backgrounds, yung cool side, the blue side. And I realized to edit it, so ito ulitin na lang natin siya from the start. And for this photo, I used this C7. Pero parang ginamit na rin siya natin kanina. So, ibahin na lang natin. So, I'm just going to use the A1 or the analog filter. And then, or pwede rin tong E4. Okay, let's just go with E4. And then, I'm just going to lower the brightness because it seems to be very, very bright. And we don't want that. So, medyo hinaan natin yung contrast. And then, just... I medyo kinrap ko siya and yan, in a square photo na siya. So medyo binabahan kasi masyado ng maraming sky sa taas and it was just too little. And yon crop na lang natin and then we have got to sharpen this photo. So ayan, and the skin tone, medyo taas na natin on the, uh, the temperature because the ano parang blue na kasi yung background so you want to balance it so pag mas like cool pa hindi parang hindi na siya nagbalance out so you got you have got to balance the yellows and the blues of the picture so ayan and then we move on to the grain if you want that let's just konti lang and then we have got to try this HSL so try natin tong blue ayan medyo on the negative u na siya and then let's just heighten the saturation and lower the brightness. I lower the lightness because pag ganyan, mukha na talaga siyang straight out of Lightroom and we don't want that. I don't want that. So, medyo babaan natin yung lightness niya. And I just wanted to parang matone down yung background and, and the photo just screams more on me, not the background. So, yeah. I'm very, very selfish, I know. So, fade. Lagyan natin ng fade. And then, that's just it. Oh, wait. It's just Tasa natin yung kulay ng lipstick ko. Ayan. Okay. That's it. This was the first edited photo. Yeah, and I edited with the C9. And this one is actually quite better in the E4. So let's just save that boat. Wait lang. Let's just save that boat. And then you're done. It's basically done. That's just it. Diba? It's super duper easy lang talaga and I don't get why people are really asking kung paano ko siya nagagawa. So, I also use this app called Dazgam and um, it's actually quite nice. By the way, it's hey there you guys. This app, you don't really get to control the edit of the photo. The app does it for you. So, parang i-adjust mo na lang siya kung anong kind of camera which is actually cool because nandito lahat ng kinds of camera from the past years, pero hindi siya lahat available. You have got to unlock it kasi may pro siya and may basic. So, kailangan mo siya bayaran. There's also a video option if you want to edit your video, like put on some effects in it. And meron din siyang stamp and you have the options of putting it on prism ba or kung fish eye. Not everything's available. So, let's, let's just move on and choose the the fish high. Okay. So, yung light leaks. Ito par parang may parang may leak na ganun. Parang light. I don't know. Pero nagpapaganda siya ng effect. Lalo na kapag dark yung photo. So, let's just try and take a snap out of my 
cabinet and okay so it, it does load that was that's it you have got the picture I'll just insert it down here. Absolutely amazing. Para lang siyang yung Huji Cam, if you are familiar with that. That's just basically it. But for this one, mas marami kang option. There's a video version, and mas magagamay mo yung mga ibang options na ino offer. And I actually like it better than Das Cam. So, see you guys. Okay, let, one, two, three. Smile. Okay, let's just wait for it. Wait for it. And that's it. It's quite nice. It really is. You have got to try it. So, my other app pa is the Nebby Film. Okay, so for the last app that I use, it is actually called Nebby Film. So, dito, maganda talaga yung filters niya. And it really focuses on the grainy effects. Like, parang nagpapa-vintage siya na photo. So, let's just add photo and favorites. Let's try this one. So, basically, nandito na nakalatag lahat ng filter niya. But with the star buttons, I know you guys know na ganyan, you have got to pay it. And it's actually quite nice. Para siyang may yung filters nito parang the grainy effect. Parang sa TV. You guys know this. Parang ganun siya. I actually love it. I'm really taken for it. Pero favorite ko dito, ayan, yung mga ganyan. Yung parang dust effect. Parang, you know, medyo Instagram vibes, Tumblr vibes, Pinterest vibes. And you can adjust and actually like choose whether the the dust really pwede mo siya irritate rotate and also like tone it down or whatever but i want it to be very ano kanya and meron din siyang light leaks over here like bokeh b o k e h if i'm not mistaken yung mga ganyan siya pero halos lahat may bayad talaga you have got to pay for it pero pwede din to pwede din tong ganyan okay lagay natin yan i like it or this one. Oh no, that's too much. Or this one. Okay. Pwede na to. Pwede na to. May bouquet na siya parang light leak effect. And then there's also dust over here. So let's just save. Okay. Saving. Saving. Pwede mo pa siya mag-add ng filter. So let's just add the dust filter right here. So yeah, mas ano. It, the photo looks very, very smooth and vintage effect. So let's just try another one. Favorites. Uh, if you're using this kinds of apps, pili in mo yung parang medyo vintage effect. So parang ito. Ito parang ganto siya. Ito. This was taken from Intramuros and yan. Yan ang ganda. Yan. Let's just add some filters. So pwede din to. Favorite ko to. Parang nasa smoothen out niya yung effect. And then save natin. Then let's just add the dust effect. Add filter and add the dust. So yan. Yeah, it it looks like it's something from Polaroid. Do you get me, you guys? Let's just move on to the other app that I use because some people are always asking me, "Sani na ako nag-edit ng IG stories?" Basically, it's just Instagram. But for the for the moments na parang sobrang memorable nung nung araw na yun for me, I edit using this app called uh, Nietzsche. Trust me, you guys. Sobrang 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 aesthetic ng mga ng mga templates dito, if you just please, 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 you know, try it out. And I'm going to edit this too from the disposable cam. I don't sa Daz Cam app. And you could edit it. May parang may, may made filter na talaga siya for you. And you could adjust the filter if you don't want that much. And you could adjust also the frame. May gantong frame, which is the black one. That's my boyfriend. And some other frames are also, you know, you have got to pay for it. Which is actually quite nice. Sobrang ganda no ibang frame. Like, gusto ko niya. Yung parang film, uh, film roll siya. By the way, my favorite one is the Polaroid. Parang ganyan siya. Pero ayan, just wanted to show you guys the frames. And let's just try this one. Ayan, and then, kapag gusto mo siya i-move forward. Ayan, top, bottom. Okay, those are my friends. Okay, ayan. Yung dimension pala nung photo is actually pre-made na because sa stories, di ba dapat 9 is 16 siya. So, ayan. And I actually edit some of my my thumbnails dito. So, you can actually adjust the background. So, we're just going to stick. Let's just stick for the black background. And then, nandito na yung parang mga may tapes. There's um, like some letters. I'm going to put that tape over here. There's actually this kind of tape na parang washi tape na ganyan. 
and it's not really fitting for the picture. So, meron pa rin dito. Pwede mo rin i-download yung some other ano. So, parang may mga outline art siyang ganyan. It's actually quite nice. You could really, like, do a lot of things with this. And there's real circles, may mga shapes. There's also this parang calendar, may ribbons. Everything's here. It's probably, like, mas maganda pa siya dun sa app called uh, Pixart. I don't really use it anymore. Di ba maraming stickers dun? Yung mga overlay and stuff. And dito talaga lahat nandito na. It's actually quite nice nga. Kasi super, super, super HD ng mga stickers. It's really unbelie unbelievable that this app is, you know, free. And there's so much to offer. Like, favorite ko tong mga part na to. Parang mga outline ng magazines. It's super, super duper aesthetic. You have got to try this. Let's move on to the text. Let's just type, um, Dazgam. Yan. Pwedeng yan. Pwedeng ito. Yan. Okay. Yan. Pwedeng ganyan. Or pwede rin siyang this, ano, ay, favorite ko dito yung outline. And I'm just choosing this outline effect, and I'm going to put it right over here so it can be red. So, ayan, that's just it. That's gum. Just says that's gum. Ayan. Ayan, ganun lang ako mag-edit ng IG stories. Nothing very special. So, ayan, just save. And that's it. That's everything that I do. Nothing really special, super duper easy. We really want to try it, so please tag me. If that idea really came from me, please tag me in your stories or whatever. I just wanted to, to quickly shout out Mary Joy Lupango. She added me on Facebook like a few days ago when she watched my Shopee haul, which is my previous video and I was, you know, inspirational for some people. It doesn't really register to me na sobrang sobrang oh god. There are people following me and there are people like supporting me from all over the country. It's really surreal for me like I haven't talked about it a lot. Pero yun, I really get emotional because I never really thought that in a span of less than one year, less than a year, I would achieve that much on my channel. I know it's for some people, it's like, parang 3,000 subscribers na. Basta yun. It's big for me, like it's really, really big for me, especially me and my boyfriend because it's not really just me, it's also my boyfriend's channel because he's in, he's in with me as much as I am in this channel and I just wanted to thank you guys for that and also to those people for since day one, if you, you know, for some people na hindi din talaga nagbelieve sa akin that I would really achieve it. I just want to say thank you for that. You really did give me something that I would be motivated enough to continue to produce content, to inspire people, and yeah, achieve my dreams. So thank you so much, loves, for watching this video, and I hope you really did enjoy it because I really enjoy talking to you guys. And I just want to say that please, people, please, please, please be safe. And if you have got nothing to do outside, if it isn't that necessary, please stay at home. I'm going to pray for everyone's soul and uh, yeah, let's just pray that our country will not, you know, crumble. Yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, see you in my next video. Bye!